Hey, I'm Pastor David, one of the associate pastors at Wrightsville United Methodist. And it's my joy today to bring the children's message. So if you have children or youth nearby who aren't already watching this video, now's a great time to call them over because I've got some things to share with them. So I, uh, I brought one of my Bibles today. Uh, this happens to be one of my red Bibles. And uh, this, this particular Bible is actually very precious to me, not just because it's red, but because if you look uh, inside on the presentation page, you see that I received this Bible back in 1960. 62 years ago this year was when this Bible was given to me. And... Uh, uh, and I, I treasure it uh, to this day, uh, not only because it's a red Bible, but because I've had it uh, for so long. So I'm wondering, how many of you have a red Bible? Really? Uh, I mean, I'm only seeing one or two hands. I, I really thought it would be more than what? Well, I mean, I, I know it's black um, with a little brown on it, but it's a red Bible. Because I read it. Uh, when I received this Bible, I used it every Sunday in Sunday school and church. Believe me, I have read this Bible. You can look through the pages and find notes that I made. This is a read Bible. So, now using that definition, how many of you have a read Bible? Okay, I'm seeing lots of hands now. Whew, boy, I feel better already. <laughs> Um, but uh, we're thinking about the Bible today. Now, does anyone know what GPS stands for? Yeah, that's right. Global Positioning Satellite. Uh, have you ever used one? Is there one in your family car? Uh, one of your parents have one? Maybe you're old enough to drive. Do you have a GPS? And, and you know how they work. Um, they, it gives us information. A GPS tells us where we are. We can put in there where we want to go, and it will tell us a route to, uh, to, to get there. Uh, it will also tell us if we're going the wrong direction. Don't you hate it when you miss a turn and the, the GPS voice is saying, whenever possible, please make a legal U-turn. And they say it over and over again, even, and, and you're trying to, uh, to, to get turned around. Well, the Bible for us is the same as a GPS for a car. Um, the scripture uh, tells us in 2 Timothy 3.16, all scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching and for showing people what is wrong in their lives. It's useful for correcting faults and teaching how to live right. So if, if you've ever been in a car when uh, your GPS is guiding you and you get that message, uh, whenever possible, make a legal U-turn, go back the other way. Uh, that's just kind of the same thing that the Bible does. The Bible also tells us when we're going the wrong way. For example, we have the Ten Commandments. You know, don't steal. Uh, don't tell lies about someone else. Don't commit murder. God speaks to us through the Bible. But we have to actually read it or hear it being read if we want God to speak to us through the Bible. So I hope the next time that I ask you if you have a red Bible, I hope that you'll be able to say, yes, I absolutely have a red Bible, no matter what color your Bible really is. I hope you can say it because you've been reading your Bible. Your Bible is a red Bible because it's been read. Let's pray together. Lord God, we give you thanks for the children and youth of our church and community, for all those watching the video and for their families. We pray your blessings on them. We thank you for giving us the Bible. May all of our Bibles be read Bibles because we read them so that we can receive your guidance for our faith and for our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 